Oh man, I gotta tighten the drag just a wee bit. There we go. What is up everybody? It is Brennan from Hooking with Hutch. Welcome to another episode. We are in Grand Isle today. We are going to be going to the breakwater at the ferry docks as well as the salmon hole which is well not really a salmon hole but the little uh, fishery stream that goes into the lake. Some people call it the salmon hole. Some people have other names for it. We'll just refer to it as the salmon hole. It ain't much of one because it's incredibly shallow right there. But we're gonna give it a shot. I'm honestly a little worried because on the ride here, I saw some of the lake frozen over pretty well. There isn't much snow up here opposed to where I live. But yeah, I'm really hoping that it is not frozen at the lake. I'm actually seeing ice on the lake over there too. I don't think the breakwater will be an issue as far as being frozen goes. Where the salmon typically are though, that might be a little bit of an issue. I brought a couple rods with me today. I brought my ultralight trout rod with me today so I could throw like some smaller meps for the salmon. But who knows, we might not even get a chance. But either way, we're out here. I'm gonna try to film a video. I have this horrible pain in my neck. Must have been from how I slept last night. I feel like crap, but we're still out here. Every day's a great day to go fishing. We're gonna figure it out. Temperature ain't bad. I've been pretty warm outside. So we'll see what happens. It's a different beast down there with the wind. I checked this morning and said we had a south wind, which is great for the Lakers if they're still in the area. We're gonna throw some fun baits for them today. We're gonna go traditional with what we've been doing for them to the, for the most part, but we're also gonna throw some fun things like some uh, Mike Buka baby bull shads. See if we can catch something on some of our MTB stuff and our uh, Carl's Bay and Tackle stuff. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you at the water. We're not running with too much battery today. The GoPro doesn't want to charge, so we're gonna do our best to film this video and. Hopefully it comes out pretty good because I'm not pleased with the last one at all. Hopefully I can get some nice shots of me holding the fish on video because I don't like how the past few lake trout videos it's just like goes to a screen where it's a picture of me holding the fish. I'm not a fan of that. It's just recording conditions and being out on that breakwater aren't the easiest. But we're going to try to work around it today and get it figured out here and try to shoot a, a decent video because I haven't been too happy or proud of the quality of videos I've been putting out lately. So definitely gonna try to work on that today but yeah like i said guys i'll catch you guys on the water thank you for tuning in Recording. All right, there we go, guys. Not a bad one at all. Long streak for that one. All either. Oh man, I gotta tighten the drag just a wee bit. There we go. Oh, don't you get caught in the rocks. 
Oh yeah. Woo! Sporadic. It looks healthy, huh? Yeah. That's definitely the smallest one I've got. You're not doing anything right. It's just been a rough day. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. I let all my fish go. I'm sorry. I just, it's what I do. You'll get one. Trust me, it's what makes it fun. See you later. Right, just made some food so we are back at the hooking with hutch headquarters we did all right we got two lakers it's no secret the laker bite has gone really slow i noticed there was a pattern so you know beginning of fall entering into our colder months you could throw moving baits for them you could throw spinners whatnot you could pretty much throw anything out there and they wanted it i noticed MEP spinners and jerk baits were the best as far as catching the lakers go and then i noticed a pattern where it began to get even colder and we moved into you know late november december it kind of transitioned into throwing spoons and just letting things drop tugging them up flutter down so spoons blade baits so there was kind of a pattern with them but the bites pretty much shut off now they've moved out a bit and i've been keeping a weathered ear out for you guys that support me because i love and really appreciate you guys and if you are still inquiring about getting on a lake trout, you can. Now that the lake is icing over, you can actually target them through the ice. I've heard from locals that do catch them through the ice that they tend to be in around 40 foot of water. And you can jig for them, basically. I don't know all the detail on that. I just know they like to hang around 40 foot of water. And if you're not really the ice fishing type, don't worry, you will be able to target them again come springtime early spring you can go to these same locations whether it's the breakwater or the causeway and you can still target them they'll be up by shore because the water will still be cold they'll be moving in a little bit closer again so there's still time guys you might have to wait a little bit now but you guys still have an opportunity to get into your first lake or obviously you can wait throughout the year and you can go out around this time again so it's not too late i do apologize for not uploading as frequently so it has been difficult. I have been out recording, but now that we're getting here into winter, the ice still has not completely frozen over. It has started to, but it's not safe ice to be on, nor is it even remotely close to being completely frozen over in all the areas I know of as of right now. But we will be out on the hard water soon enough doing some ice fishing for you guys, and it'll be interesting because that's going to be a completely new experience for me. I've only done it twice, but I am going to go out there keep this channel alive and do some ice fishing and we'll hopefully have a blast with that but that all depends on if the ice actually even freezes over i've heard guys predicting maybe middle of january it will be but yeah that's the dilemma right now the ice is not safe and there isn't very much of it water's cold nothing really wants to bite unless you're out on a motor boat which i do not have currently but i'm going to keep it up with the uploads there might be pauses in between just bear with me guys i really appreciate your support i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always Thank you for tuning in. I will catch you in the next video.